alaykum wa rahmatullah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them 20 rewards. And if they say assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them 30 rewards. La ilaha illallah. How merciful is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that in our daily greeting, palaces are being built for us in Jannah. And trees are growing for us in Jannah. And streams are becoming fuller for us in Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the people of Jannah. Ameen. So this is the salam. And this salam, subhanallah, is sunnah to initiate. But the response to it is wajib if you didn't know. Now, if somebody greets you, it's sunnah. But once he does, you have to respond. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا حُيِّيتُمْ بِتَحِيَّةٍ فَحَيُّ بِأَحْسَنَ مِنْهَا أَوْ رُدُّوهَا That if you are greeted with a greeting, then ensure that your response to it is equal to the greeting received or better. So there has to be a response and the response has to be equal to the greeting received. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. How Islam nurtures us to become people of ihsan to one another. That don't let it be a case where somebody greeted and you didn't answer. So Shaytan use that as a means of brewing enmity and hatred between you and him. Whether you like it or not, Allah took it from your control. Whether you want to respond or not, Allah said it's why did you have to? That's the way we're going to create unity here. That's the way the believers will meet each other in salah in the masajid. So if somebody comes to you and says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, then the minimum requirement is to say, Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. And it's better for you to say, Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. But you can't say, Wa alaikum salam and stop. For his greeting was, Wa rahmatullah. And if he says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, then your response has to be in full as well. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. This is Islam of servants of Allah. It's a way of life. It's a religion and a way of life. And Alhamdulillah, Allah has blessed us with the best of both worlds. It's this kalima, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. And understand that the first pillar after it is salah. Look after the salah. As you've, looked, you, as you've looked after your iman, you've protected yourself from shirk, look after the greatest command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the salah. And look after it in the light of all the factors mentioned today regarding the salah. 